If you want more speed and power in your swing like that, listen up, because I've got a tip for you that's gonna make it not only easier for you to hit the ball further, but it's gonna take less stress on your body to do it. And the trick is, when you're learning how to really produce speed and pop in the swing, you really wanna use an impact bag. And we sell these on the site because it's one of our most popular training aids that's out there because it's the simplest and the simplest ones always work the best. This guy, all you gotta do is fill it with towels, rags, whatever, old shirts, small animals, children, whatever you don't need any longer, and start whacking away at it and learn how to decelerate your body to get the club to accelerate. Now, for a lot of people, that's a confusing concept. They don't understand, but the reality is, is that when you're really swinging the club properly, your body at impact is doing very, very little. If you feel like your body's turning really hard and you're driving really hard and your back hurts after every swing, this video is for you because I'm gonna show you how to hit the ball further with less effort. And using the impact bag is gonna make this really, really easy. The one thing you need to check with the impact bag is your body position when you stop. So the impact bag is gonna force you to stop. It's got enough mass, you're not gonna keep going. So as you come into hitting, the hitting area, you wanna see that your body is nice and square, your hips are open, and the club is just barely behind your hands. Now what most golfers do to make this club go, actually go slower is they try to rotate their body faster through impact. And all that does is delay the release of the club. It doesn't do you any good if the club releases out here. You need your wrist to fully release at the ball. That's the only time you need speed in the golf swing. The rest of it doesn't matter. If you have speed when you actually influence what the ball is gonna do, we're gonna do, be, be doing good things. However, what a lot of golfers look like when they use an impact bag for the first time is this. Now, if you compare that with what I did earlier, you're gonna notice this is more like a check swing down the first baseline, not gonna go anywhere. And what I did earlier, getting my hands and club to fully release is gonna get that club head to accelerate. The trick to what I did is I stopped turning my body. In fact, my upper body during the downswing they don't turn at all. Everything with rotary swing coming down is it's all lower body and core driven. And then we just let our wrists release. At impact, I'm just posting up. Nearly every single tour pro on the planet you watch does the exact same thing. They post up on this lead leg and they unhinge their wrists, uncock their wrists, let them release. Their body slows down, the club speeds up. Think about this like snapping a towel you've ever popped your buddy in the locker room, you know that in order to get that towel to really snap, you actually gotta move your wrist backwards. If you look at Rory McIlroy's swing, he actually does that with his hips. The only guy on the PGA Tour that does it, pound for pound, the longest hitter on the tour. He's not continuing to rip his body through, he's slamming on the brakes and releasing the wrist, and that's where speed really comes from. You're trying to hit a ball that weighs an ounce and a half. You don't need power from your body, you need speed from the club head. And by learning how to slow your body down, you're gonna learn how to do that. I've got a bonus video I want you to take a look at. And it's talking about how to release the club properly with your arms versus your body and letting Sir Isaac Newton drive your golf swing. When you put physics in the driver's seat, you're gonna be a much better golfer. One of my favorite parts of the golf swing is the, the release, the time where we're Store, releasing all this pent up energy and letting the club head accelerate as fast as humanly possible. And a lot of golfers don't ever get to feel what a proper release feels like or even understand what it is. And that's because there's a ton of information out there that talks about turning the body through impact as long as humanly possible and as fast as humanly possible versus just letting the club head release by letting your forearms turn over. Now, why would you want to do one over the other? Let's talk about the first one. This is what, what I call the body release, taking the, the chest and turning it through the hitting area as long as humanly, as fast as humanly possible to move the club. Well, first of all, that's putting a ton of undue stress on your spine. That sheer force that you're rotating your spine as fast as you can through the hitting area when there's all tons of tremendous force going through there you're setting yourself up for injury. The last thing that your spine wants in life is compressive, compressive force and shear force, rotating as quickly as you possibly can. So, but let's just take the injury prevention out of it. Of course, that's a huge part of RST. We don't want golfers to get injured and so many of these golf swing related injuries, they're all preventable. So 
we, we think that's a big deal, but let's just ignore that for a second. Let's just talk about the speed that's going to be produced in the swing and where it's going to come from. As you start rotating your body really fast, you create centripetal force. Now, unless you've figured out a way to outsmart Newton, the result of that is going to be centrifugal force. Now, what is that centrifugal force going to be acted upon, and what is it going to do? Well, it's pretty simple. If I go to the top and I've got these angles in here, and I start rotating as fast as I can with my shoulders, what's going to happen to the club is it's going to get thrown out away from me. The centrifugal force is going to act on my wrist joint and release the club, and so I'm going to start casting. The last thing on earth you want to do is start releasing this wrist angle early in the swing because that's about two-thirds of your club speed. You want to release that very late and maintain that lag, and you can't do that when you start spinning your shoulders as fast as you can. Physics are going to always win. You're not going to outsmart Newton. So, But again, let's just take that one out of the equation and look at the final last little release component. Let's just assume that for some reason you did figure out a way to keep your wrist really, really soft and maintain your lag longer, and you overcame the centrifugal force in your swing. Now you're going to release it at the bottom. Well, it's going to be pretty hard to do when you're spinning your shoulders through because in order for something to release, you've got to transfer energy up the chain and slow down other parts. So as I'm spinning my shoulders through, the club head is never going to get a chance to release, and so I'm going to be leaving speed on the table. In order for everything to get maximum speed, your body has to decelerate. Just like throwing a ball, think about this for a second. If you were going to throw a ball, what's the first thing you do? You take a step, you rotate your hips, and then they're done. You don't keep turning your hips to the first baseline. You turn to get your belt buckle facing the catcher, and then your chest is there. It's done turning as well, and then your arm releases. But if you kept turning, you'd throw it into the first base dugout. You've got to let things decelerate because that's just the most efficient way that we transfer energy up the chain from our legs and from our torso and then into the club and arms. Now, in the golf swing, it's no different. If I keep rotating through, this club head will release at some point, but it's going to happen after the ball's long gone. That's not going to do you any good. The ball doesn't care at that point. You need to release it at the ball. So that's really a, a critical piece of the swing. But the last thing is just how fast do you think you can rotate your rib cage? Well, when you're really young and fit and strong, maybe you can rotate pretty quickly and make up for it. But as you get older, what do you think is going to happen? Well, we're not going to be able to rotate as fast as we can. One, you're putting a lot of wear and tear on your spine, so your body's not going to like it. You're going to start feeling like it doesn't feel very good if you haven't injured yourself already. And then as you just get older, you're not going to be able to spin your shoulders that fast. You're trying to take all of your guts, all of your internal organs, and all of these muscles and move this giant structure, this big mass, as fast as you can. And all I'm going to do is this. Now, who do you think is going to win? Do you think I can do this faster than you can move your entire body? Of course I can. That's where speed comes from. That's where efficiency comes from. All I have to do is let my, hand, my forearms, these two bones, rotate over. Now, a lot of golfers misconstrue that and get confused thinking, well, that's a really handsy release. It's the antithesis of that. My hands are doing this because the club is doing that to them. The club is designed to work as a tool to rotate around the shaft. If it was meant to stay nice and square the whole time, they would have put the shaft in the center of the club face. But it doesn't work like that because it's being swung on an inclined plane. So because of that, the club face is always rotating throughout the entire swing. You never, ever, ever try and hold it square. It's not designed to work like that. If you try and hold this club face square going back, which is effectively shut, guess what it's going to want to do on the downswing? It's not going to want to release. You're giving up about 8 miles an hour club head speed by not allowing the toe of the club to turn over the way it's designed to do that. So, of course, we want as much speed as possible with as little effort as humanly possible, and we also don't want to work around the physics of how the club is engineered to work. We want to allow it to release, and so the club is what's actually turning my forearms over. My arms are very soft and passive. Any tour pro that's releasing the club, you're going to see that their toe of the club in the follow-through is really turned over and released really hard. Hey there, Chuck Quinton, founder of Rotary Swing University here. I hope you enjoyed the preview of the premium video. I want to show you what you're going to get once you join Rotary Swing because the, our new course for Rotary Swing University is a game changer. 
It literally walks you through every single aspect of building a perfect golf swing, a powerful and safe golf swing, and all you have to do is literally click next. You don't have to think. All you got to do is follow the drills, watch the videos, click next. Everything is in sequence and walks you through everything you need to know about building the perfect golf swing step by step. And it's not only this amazing course that makes the thinking process takes it all out of the golf swing, but we also offer six free swing reviews from a certified rotary swing tour instructor for every phase of the swing. So with the RST five step system, we start with weight shift. Once you master weight shift, we move on to body rotation, we call core rotation, but through each section, we're gonna test you. You're gonna upload a video of you doing the drills, you doing it in your golf swing, and one of our certified instructors will review your swing and make sure that you're doing the movements correctly so you never have to wonder, did I do this right? Am I getting better? You're going to know for sure. And all you have to do is join today with rotaryswing.com and start improving your golf swing right now. And we're going to give you six free swing reviews and more importantly, a lifetime money back guarantee. That's right. Nobody else in the golf instruction world would dare do this. We're so confident, and we've proved our method with over 300,000 golfers around the world, that we can guarantee your golf swing is going to improve by following our course. And all you've got to do is do the drills and submit your video for review, and our instructors are going to help you each step of the way. And if for whatever reason, if you ever decide that you're not happy and your golf swing didn't really improve, we'll give you every single penny you spent back on your Rotary Swing University tuition for free. So think about it. You've got literally nothing to lose. Go to rotaryswing.com, sign up today, and improve your golf swing once and for all.